Hello Gemini and welcome to your May reading. So, I meditated on your energy and asked Spirit what he wanted to talk to you about for the month of May. Um, and here, the three first cards that came out. There's a lot of flair, but there you go. First one, Queen of Cups with the Seven of Pentacle and the Five of Swords. This is... Um, how can I explain that? This is when our work... Uh, and, and for some of you it's going to be work, work. Others of you it's anything that you invest in. Okay? invest in emotionally invest in and tend you know tend our garden of um in the hopes of receiving fruits in life whatever those fruits may be there's a five of swords there that means that there's something that undermines you that prevents you from actually receiving the fruits from all the work that you've been doing and there's the queen of cups so that tells me that that is happening on an emotional level uh, because she is the filter of how much peace and emotional fulfillment you let into your life. Okay? So there you are, seven of pentacles. You see how that man is, you know, he's been working the garden. His boots are dirty. Um, he's looking at his crop. And he's not receiving anything. Why? Because of this. And it has to do with your emotion. Your emotional state, how much you allow in your life, how much love and serenity and peace you allow into your life. Here I have the Ten of Cups. Now, because of this, and because after I have the Devil, that tells me this is not the epiphany of your happiness. Um... And all of that, this is the end of a cycle of how the way you think of and what you allow in your life, uh, how much love and happiness you can have and you can share with others. You've hit the ceiling because we go through the Ten of Cups often in our life, like I was saying, you know. You can go through it when you're 15, when you're 20, when you're 30, and so on. And it's different levels. The more conscious we are, the deeper and richer the emotions we can, we can share with others. And also the type of people we attract in our lives. And that goes with the Queen of Cups. How much do you allow in? Because she's the one, the feminine is the one that allows in. That is between the gate of our soul and the divine and the cosmic intelligence and all of that. The unconditional love of the universe passes through the queen to go into the king, into our reality. Queen, how much do you allow in? Because with the devil here, that tells me that you are going to confront an emotional limit that you've been putting that has been preventing you from actually receiving the true fruits of your life emotionally okay under that I have the two of swords that's a decision that's an inner decision what is my truth what do I truly believe because again under our ten of cups all the work that I've been putting in all the efforts I've been putting in have been stolen in the night Thief in the Night, Seven of Swords. So the Five of Swords with the Seven of uh, Pentacle, Eight of Pentacle, Seven of Swords. The two cards that represent putting efforts and energy and concentration into something with the two cards that kind of represent um, being robbed, being undermined, losing our power. When the swords work against us. Under the devil, I have the nine of swords with the lovers. So this is anxiety. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? With the lovers, which is the opposite of the devil, 
it is making that inspired choice. Here is the choice again. Inspired choice to get out of a situation. And what will be that inspired choice? It will be to actually accept a new level of love in our life, to open ourselves up to more water, to a higher level of emotional consciousness here with the page and the fish in it filled with possibilities. So that's our queen actually opening up to receiving more because there she's sabotaging herself, not seeing the fruits of her, of her labor, of her investments and things like that. Here, under that, we have the moon and the knight of pentacle. So that tells me that that work, everything that is happening here, it's happening inside of you. For some of you, this can be happening really outside in the sense that at the workplace, being undermined, being uh, people stealing your work, pe people stealing your ideas and things like that. That could be happening for some of you in the concrete world. Um, others of you, this is a process happening inside. Others of you, it can be happening in a relationship because we are talking about shared emotions. What can bring us to our highest uh, level of happiness? So here, confronting with the, the moon. So how we're being undermined and all of that is because of something, a belief maybe, an illusion that we are letting happen unconsciously that is preventing our pentacles to come towards us what we want to build to be actually built to see results so here under the choice that we make to allowing this to finally be able to move forward with what we want to build we have the sun and the seven of wands and this is having the total clarity on what we are willing to fight for, what we want, what we desire. This is what I want and this is what I'm going for. So here, bottom of the deck, I had the Seven of Cups. So instead of having a lot of things that float in the air, that are kind of, um, you know, all in the ether, not grounded what is going on is this this is this that we're floating with our emotions in the air uh, and it is undermining us here we're making a decision to open up to receive something real strong even if we're passing through a moon phase here but to have the clarity of what we're willing to fight for what is uh, i understand now and now this is what i want desire wants and that I am willing to fight for. So let's clarify this for you, Gemini. So it's an unblockage in a way of maybe something that you were doing unconsciously that was undermining yourself, preventing you from having that uh, results um, into what you want to build, the kind of life you want to build and the fruits of your labor call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit help me clarify this reading for Gemini for the month of May Gemini for the month of May Okay, so show me that five of swords and the queen of cups and the seven of pentacle. How is that happening? How is that happening? How is that happening for Gemini? Whoa, that's a big... Uh, I have the ace of wands. Okay, that's seven of uh, pentacle again here queen of wands uh, sorry ace of pentacle
there's a brand new thing that wants to come in but this is almost like being in stagnation mode and and letting things not move forward or not receiving more than what you have received until now but the universe is saying there is an ace of pentacle here why can't you grab it because you are not allowing yourself to be um, to receive more emotionally with that ace of pentacle that is interesting uh, why because of the five of pentacle okay because you carry the, a bit that energy still that energy of lack of believing that um, this we all have at different degrees different levels different areas of our lives this is more for your emotional happiness or even your financial um, situation here um, you have no problem putting the efforts but it's just like allowing the results of your efforts in where you could actually uh, start receiving 5 plus 1 is 6 6 when we start receiving will be determined on how much you allow in emotionally isn't that funny not financially but emotionally the level of yes I can be fulfilled in peace and happiness I can have knowing financial anxiety and just be happy in the flow this is what um, the decision you have to that inner decision to let in more of that is what you're facing ten of uh, ten of cups for Gemini so Gemini even if you are an air sign here it says that your financial situation, uh, that's what you, page of sword, there you are. It's like you understand that ceiling that you have imposed yourself. Your financial, and now you, you're willing to fight for it. It's clear. Sun, sun on this. Oh my God, I see now. I see now that I have to be emotionally um, open to receive more. To actually see the results of my efforts if not I undermine myself kind of thing or I let in people that do that do it for me so you're going to get that understanding here therefore facing your devil we all uh, have to face him a couple you know many times in our lives if we want to uh, go more into the light we have to face the the darkness here so show me the devil show me the devil spirit for Gemini for the month of May the one that what is the illusion what is the um, the shadow that kept them believing that what they got they deserved and they, they couldn't get more than that ah see how it's close to emotions there it is, because that's all your, your reference was. This is what I've experienced, been there, done that, people are like that, that's what people have been giving me until now. I don't see how it would change. So, I've been stuck under that, that uh, glass ceiling, let's say, okay? Like if you were working in a company and we do hit the glass ceiling of promotion at one point, what is going to make the difference is actually how we feel, how we vibrate, how much we allow to have that I am happy, I am joyful, I am sharing high emotions with people around me, people that understand me, not people that undermine me after all the efforts I make about my work and what I invest myself in. No, 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 no. So somewhere how he was able to keep you there is because somewhere you didn't really believe it you only believed the experience you had until now and that that was your reality what you see is all there is that is how I enslave you so you have to take that decision here you have this uh, because the page is coming out you understand that so that means 
You have to make that inner decision of what is my truth. So I can receive that Ace of Pentacles that the universe wants to give me to bring things back to justice, back to a balanced uh, situation where I would actually receive. Two of Swords, Spirit. Ace of sword. Yes. That is the choice to rise. Um, understanding that you have to rise your emotional vibration in order to receive more. It's almost like... Um, like if we're talking purely financial here. It's okay to want and to enjoy having more. That, that would bring you more happiness. It's okay. It's okay to open yourself up to be more happy, that to have uh, more love, and that will actually bring you more financially or more in the concrete uh, level of what you do, what you invest in, because this is time, energy, uh, concrete the pleasures of life mm, think uh, Venus my values what I value what I have to have more of that it is okay but it will go hand in hand with how much I allow myself to be happy that's what I mean okay okay so Because how could you undermine yourself to actually have the results of your efforts? Seven of Sword, Eight of, of Pentacle, the Sun, and the Page of Pentacle. This is getting clear. You are taking that decision. You will not be in uh, dual thinking anymore you will have that one truth and that is why all of a sudden you are going to get that pentacle that was in the air floating here now you have it in your hands page of pentacle with the sun with the enthusiasm this is all clear i am not letting uh whatever energy that works in the dark in the shadow whether my own unconsciousness or people that i attract that will actually do it and steal my stuff to come in, now this is clear, and I am grabbing this. Lovers, and that is you, Gemini. With the, whoops, nine, nine of swords, there you go. Cancer, but this is the chariot, having your two twins, your unconscious and your conscious, now being aligned. May, because you made that choice and you are moving forward. Moving also away of anxiety, worry and all of these things. If you believe that life is all that life is going to bring you is worry and anxiety, that's all that's going to be brought to you. Uh, and preventing you from actually gaining more of that uh, heart fulfillment and happiness. And even financial retribution to towards all the efforts that you've had that cycle is finished world now it is time to move forward and make that decision of aligning these two parts of you so that uh, unconsciously you're not undermining all of that you're taking that cup that extra cup here you're opening yourself up to be more happy I have the right to be super happy Ooh, that's a lot but I'll take the first one which is the knight uh, the king of wands I have the right to go for what I want and to have joy out of it no guilt this is almost being guilty of being happy and receiving and preventing yourself from getting that because part of you was feeling guilty out of it but now no more guilt 
more I am excited and happy to go for what I truly desire. So, that, that was hidden in your moon. It's almost like now I see it and I'm going for it. Yeah, okay. So, they wanted to come out. Here I have the Emperor and our Five of Swords that was here. So, taking control over my life and not letting my unconscious uh, undermine me. Because I have a belief which could, which could be guilt, which could be either guilt or just the, the not having the capacity to uh, imagine or open myself that, yes, I can, ha I can be more happy, even if, you know, um, not everybody is around me or whatever. You know, opening yourself up to that, taking control on your life so that that unconscious sabotaging stops right there. This is what I want. This is what I want to go for. This is what I know I'm ready to defend. So the sun is there again. So for some of you, yes, it's a guilt trip. Uh, that is going to finish. Uh, others of you, yes, going to finish death. And death. we have our Knight of Pentacle. Judgment again. Clarity on what I want to bring forward. And I am willing to transform. I am purifying myself. I am rising from the dead. So whatever part of me was preventing me, from being able to move forward with that pentacle, with what I want to build in life. It's like now I'm going to allow myself to have it. And like I said, for some of you, this is happening outside of you. And for others of you, you are confronting your own shadow. And the shadow that was preventing you from getting that happiness, that fulfillment, that emotional fulfillment. Because the universe wants to give it to you. There it is. So you want to remain in anxiety and being um, a bit screwed of never getting the results of the efforts and the energy you put into something. Never gaining that happiness and fulfillment, whether it is for financial or emotional. But for you, they seem to be very close together for what they're talking here. And it is going to be, yes, well, now what it was hidden and unconsciously or hidden simply is coming out. I'm taking charge of my life. I'm not letting these things undermine you, undermine me anymore. I have that one truth and that one understanding about how I was limited emotionally to fulfill my happiness. And this is what I want. This is what I'm defending and this is what I'm moving forward with the sun. Sun, sun, everything is clear now. I am grabbing this and I'm moving forward. There's been a couple of months now on your readings about, uh, yes, I am manifesting now. I know how to manifest and all of that. And this is almost like I have uncovered a way that I was limiting the abundance in my life. And again, I am taking a decision to um, remove that. And it has to do with your emotions, to how much emotionally you were willing to uh, receive, almost. So, this is beautiful, Gemini. Um, how could I, uh, re you know bring that into uh, one sentence, it would be, um, I see now what was blocking me, seeing what was blocking. Mm, maybe, yeah, okay, I'll see. Anyway, on this, my beautiful Gemini, I'm going to send you all my love and light. And um, if you want a private reading, the description is below. You have the address where to write so you can have all the details. Um, 
thank you for sharing and subscribing and commenting um, let's make the channel grow I read all the comments and it touches me deeply um, thank you for uh, the ones of you that gave donations it helps more than you think and like usual new moon full moon I include you in my ceremony to receive from the universe and send you back uh, to thank you uh, apart from that um, in during these times uh, again my support and my light and love for the ones of you that are in the front helping um, others of you that um, are doing the best to kind of go through this as smoothly and as peacefully as possible um, it is a period that is going to pass but we can use it to reassess our lives and to see how we're going to get get out of this and how we are going to act after uh, and this is seems to be a very good thing to get rid of before uh, getting back into our actions and all of that so my beautiful Gemini's I'm gonna send you all my love and light again namaste and see you next month alright